people of the world, we just want to uh, excite you with another moment of grace. God is here, Jesus is here, is the topic that we've been trying to elaborate and talk about many, many things that God is trying to do in our lives. Uh, on the broadcast, on our platform, we have our sister is Samantha. Samantha is a, is a child of God who I uh, just met here in Cape Town and I'm so much excited with this great family. She's actually a daughter of Apostle Sabina. Yes. Okay, tell me about who is Samantha. Um, well, I am a 36 year old, um, mm -hmm. lady living in Cape Town with Joss Blake. Okay. Um, recently, about mm -hmm. a year ago, gave my heart over to Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, before that, I was a broken individual. Mm -hmm. um, that thought I knew, you know, what life is. I yeah. thought that I had everything sorted out. Mm -hmm. um, until I then met Sister Bina um, mm -hmm. and her amazing family, then that led me to, to Christ. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, uh, I, I used to be a broken, very lost individual yeah. um, and I managed to find my way in my path. Wow, glory be to God. So Sister Samantha says she managed to find a path in the way of God. So tell me, what are you talking about? I'm just getting there to know that the path, the path. And then I'm trying to understand what type of path are you talking about? Um, well, my entire life has been, um, let's say, a lie, um, because I've lost myself in my process. You know, walking around life thinking that this is what life is. It is about my happiness and my pleasantness. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, I was always reminded that your life on earth won't ever be good enough. Um, you know, the, the, the way you live is the way you live. Um, oh. Jesus doesn't see you, God doesn't Jesus see you. Doesn't exist or God, exactly, Jesus oh. doesn't exist. Okay. Um, you know, so and, and obviously I was made believe that, that I'm the devil and I'm following the principalities of the devil. Glory be to God. Uh, well, there is a life that you need in this life, the life with Jesus. Jesus says, Come, all oh, ye that labor and are heavy laden. Most of the time we have burdens on our lives. Yes. We have so much burdens all around our lives. But you see, if only you believe and understand that God can work wonders, God, the Most High God, used Apostle Sabina to have an encounter of relationship with her, my sister is Samantha, and she came to the place of divine comfort. There is a place that people have been looking for, have been searching for. This is the place called Jesus. Yes. Jesus is the place, you know. Jesus is called a place where we are looking for, a place where people long for, a place dreaming for. So now you are at this place called Jesus. Yes. Oh my God, this place called Jesus, who is here. This place is the place that has given you excitement. Yes. What can you tell the world who are actually being, uh, uh, being in a frustrated life, being in evil type of life, being, living a life, living a life that you're able to do all sorts of evil, being comfortable with anything. What can you tell the world out there? Well, I want to encourage those that are going through difficult times, do not give up. God sees you through your pain, God sees your tears, God hears your, pray your prayers, no matter what. Um, I know that it's easy to say, you know, I'm going to drink, or I'm going to do drugs, or I'm going to smoke, or I'm going to, you know, just, just sleep around because you're looking for an excuse. But, you know, all you need to do is just know that God loves you. God is there no matter what. All we need to do is stay on our knees, give our heart to Jesus, pray to God, and believe and have faith that every situation will be fixed through the grace of God. Glory be to God. There is so many things to talk about. Yes. I believe when you'll be able to see one of the videos whereby Samantha is a lighter. She's a lighter. I think I, when I was in Zambia, I spoke about, you can see a lady who's going to write books. Mm -hmm. you know? yes. And then that's what God showed me. And then I came and encounter with this beautiful uh, video, which we're going to play right now on the broadcast. You're going to, along the side, you're going to be seeing this broadcast. And then your life will never be the same. May God bless you. Uh, God is for the We have another person all the way from uh, Mitchell Spring. She's a lady, she's a musician for yes. that matter. I'm believing we're gonna join her. And then for Samantha, we're gonna see that Samantha is going to go yes. <laughs> somewhere. Uh, but nevertheless, she's not departed from our sight, she's still 
Yeah. Yes. She's Indeed. still in the body of Christ. We are one body in the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. Trying, it's not, the kingdom of God is not like a jacket yes. where you can put it off and then you can just exactly. take it out. So mm-hmm. It's the body, the, the eyes, the mm-hmm. nose connected mm-hmm. to each other. So we are connected mm-hmm. by divine purpose and plan of God. May God say, glory be to God. We have our sister Megan all the way from Mitchell Spring. Oh my God, this is a wonderful sister. This is a sister who can just shake the world. She can shake the world by our worship. When you enter in the midst of the moment of worship with this sister, and then you just get the experience. And I believe that we're gonna play one of the songs that she, she's, she's been doing, and then just by the fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost moving in her life. We have your sister here. We have you as a sister. And I've seen you doing great things in the kingdom of God. Having an encounter when you hold the mic, people are able to be touched and get transformed by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Tell me who is Megan. Megan, I am from Josephine, Cape Town. Yeah. I am 33 years old. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I love God a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. She just said I love God. I don't know about me, guys, now. Because I'm trying to understand all this sequence. And then she says, I am Megan. I love God. Okay. Tell me, oh, what's, where is Megan coming from in the beginning of concept? How did Megan come? How did Megan explode to this great and mighty worship? Um, at the age of seven. I invented I got a beast. Oh, okay. I told my mommy it was one night in the morning. I can sing. Oh, and oh. since that time, I started singing, singing for You're God. Singing. I started singing in front of people. I started singing, but I didn't really make Jesus that time yet. Oh, okay. So at the age of 16, I met God. Um, through my parents, oh. which is um, Apostle Sabina and, and Apostle Dimas. Yeah. Well, it is well. God is faithful. God is still doing great and mighty things. I know that you've got a voice at some point where you can just tell somebody who are singing for the world, people who are church girls at some point, but they, they're able just to do other things. Mm-hmm. We've got so many people who are actually doing evil things that are not actually according to the kingdom of God. And then most of these people are just innocent people. Mm. They're human. They're friends, families. Yes. But what can you say to the people who are just doing those things for the world? Okay, so if you do something for God, it's a blessing. Mm. Um, for me, I sing for God with everything. It's a blessing. Mm. Um, but ministering to people, it's what I want. It's my heart. Mm. And it's, it's, how can I say, explain now? Um, Okay. It's just bliss to see It's something for... that you can't yes. even explain to yes. mindset of human yes. yes. Well, glory be to God. The glory of God is ever sufficient for people who Amen. have an encounter. We see a sister, she can't just knock. Let me tell you, it's the knocking. Those type of frustration, you will survive from that accident. That's it. Jesus knocking at the door. You survived a, 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 a plot of you being killed. That is Jesus knocking. He's knocking so hard on you so that you might believe that Jesus is here. Amen. I understand that there's some gun points that you're missing a point, a missed a bullet because Jesus is knocking yes. at the door. He says, Come, my son, I need you. And one of us, Jesus is not just knocking, yes. he's using also a voice. Amen. He's saying, Come. He's not just saying that, he's shouting with power Amen. because the Spirit of the Most High God has made us to Amen. know the truth and the truth shall set us free. Amen. The truth of the matter is that Jesus is alive Amen. and he needs you. So if you're not born again, believe in Jesus Christ. Follow us on the numbers on the screen and yes. you shall be uplifted. You shall be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.